Hi friends, Scientist Jen here with another science experiment video for you. Now today we're going to make two of my favorite homemade bubble recipes, and then we're gonna test them against each other. What we're looking for is, which one flies the highest, which one lasts the longest, and which one reflects the most light. You know when bubble looks really shiny and pretty? It's reflecting light. Now make sure to stay tuned until the end. Watch the whole video, because at the very end, I have a surprise for you, and I think you're gonna like it. All right, let's get into the video. For the sky high bubbles, add two cups of warm water. Warm water definitely works best. Then add one third cup of dish soap. Dawn dish soap seems to work really well. After that, one fourth cup of corn syrup. Then stir slowly and let sit for 24 hours for the best results. For the wow bubbles, add two cups of warm water. Warm water works best. Then add one fourth cup of dish soap and then two tablespoons of vegetable glycerin. If you don't have glycerin, you can use sugar. Stir and then let sit for about 24 hours for the best results. After some testing, we concluded that the sky high bubbles reflect more light and the wow bubbles lasted a little bit longer. Neither of them flew very high. Please let us know if you come up with the same results. Good luck. All right, friends, we have a couple of really fun bubble activities for you. So the first one, activity number one, is called body bubbles. Now, normally if you try and catch a bubble, it pops. That's because the dirt and the oil on our skin pop bubbles or they break surface tension. But we have a trick here. If you add soap onto your skin, then it won't break the surface tension and you can actually hold a bubble in your hand or even make some on your arm. Now we have a challenge for you. We wanna see how many bubbles you can make on your arm at once. All right, good luck and ready, go! Try putting a few bubbles on your dry arm first. Notice that the bubbles pop. Dirt and oils on our skin break surface tension and pop bubbles. A neat trick is to cover your arm with just a little bit of the bubble solution and then the surface tension won't break. That way you can make lots and lots of bubbles. Whoa! All right, activity number two. Now this activity is called bubble technology. Now go around the house and find some materials that you think might make a cool bubble with parents' permission, of course. Now, once you find a couple of different materials you think will make a bubble, I want you to make a prediction. Which one you think will make the best bubbles or the most bubbles, and then test them out. You'll test each one out and see what makes bubbles and what doesn't. Once you have your objects, it's time to test them out. Some of the materials made large bubbles. Other materials made a foam or kind of a snow. All of them were a lot of fun to try, even though some of them did not really make bubbles very well. I must admit I had a favorite. The strawberry basket was a lot of fun to make bubbles with. All right, now try them yourself. Good luck. I promised you a surprise and here it is. I'm going to teach you how to make four bubble blower wands out of objects you can find around the house.
All right, friends, I hope you had fun today doing our science experiment. Now, if you try any of these at home, please make sure to tag us at Wow Sci Museum. As always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. It really helps our channel out a lot. If we get to 100 subscribers, we get a custom name and URL, so that's the goal. Until next time, I'm Scientist Jet.